Warning, this video contains spoilers for the Assassin's Creed games. Okay, let me clarify, because this probably looks like clickbait to someone who isn't familiar. As far as I know, Kristen Bell is very much alive, but her character in Assassin's Creed is not. Kristen played Lucy Stillman in these games. Voice, face, everything. And in the third Assassin's Creed game, Lucy died. She was suddenly killed by our main character, Desmond. That's all fine and dandy in and of itself, not really worthy of a video. Tons of characters done in these games, after all. The thing is that this is a character who seems like she wasn't meant to die, and it was rather out of character in how it happened. After all, Lucy always seemed to be on her own killer's side. So what's the conspiracy? It was never meant to happen. If you saw my video about Desmond's changing face, you know that there's an idea that the game company might not like paying more for actors than they want to. And Kristen Bell probably had a three game contract with Ubisoft, as the series was originally going to just be Assassin's Creed 1, 2, and 3. But they couldn't fit all they wanted into 2, so they made the two sequels for 2, which came before 3. I know, it's complicated. But that leaves the first three games to Assassin's Creed 1, 2, and Brotherhood. They would have to renew Kristen's contract to use her likeness and voice in any more games. Chances are, they didn't want to pay her as much as she wanted. I mean, she's a pretty big name. I don't know anything about movies, but Astro Boy vs. the Junkyard Pirates came out that year, and I'm sure that was a huge hit for her. So what do you do when you're almost done making your game, and then find out Lucy can't come back in the next one? You kill her so you don't need an excuse for why she's not there. Maybe it's a stretch, so let's play devil's advocate, although that implies something malicious when really it wouldn't be. Anyway, maybe Lucy was meant to die in that scene all along. Okay, sure, it's possible. Then why doesn't she have any voice lines for her death? She's just stabbed while frozen. Don't make an Anna joke, Emma. And not given any reaction after she's able to move again. Just drop dead. You'd think for a character that had been given so much screen time, her death would feel more impactful. People believe that there aren't any lines for her because her contract was up. She had finished all her lines, and then after that was when they weren't able to bring her back. So they had to kill her off without changing any of her dialogue. And it's kind of a dumb death. Desmond is forced by the gods or whatever, I don't really know, so I shouldn't be making a video about it, but anyway, he's forced to kill her because the gods tell him that otherwise she will betray them. But it really comes out of left field. As far as I know, there isn't much evidence leading up to this, and any proof of it was created after the game with her death. It would be a cool twist if we actually got to see this dark side of her character, but it's just, stab, you're dead. So, unless we believe that Ubisoft is really bad at writing twists, they had to kill Lucy because they had no other choice. Anyway, that's the tale of why Ubisoft killed Kristen Bell. I mean, it's just a theory unless someone has proof of Kristen Bell's contracts or something. It does seem extremely likely to be the case, however. And I love learning this sort of thing. It's like a behind the scenes look into some of the big changes that have to be made to a game at any given moment. And I wonder if all these troubles could be a reason Ubisoft hasn't really used any significant facial likenesses since the beginning, as far as my knowledge goes. So do you think Lucy's death was planned, or they had to force it in? Let me know in the comments, and like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Stay groovy, everyone.